G'day guys, welcome back. I am going to do a new turtle for you today. Look, look at it. It's just gorgeous. I love using a mold for the first time. It's super shiny. Flippers are nice and deep. Look at that. Gorgeous head, nice big head in there. Well detailed. It's got these areas on the back there to you know support the the um, the weight of the mold. I don't know if you can see, but there's his head. <laughs> there's his mouth. He's got a little beak hanging over. Nice big eyes. Um, and then a gorgeous puffy shell. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> my own design you guys i'm really enjoying doing my own designs for mold so yes there he is my prototype so i was thinking oh what am i going to do with him there's so many things i could do with him but anyway i've decided on this now these i got these from amazon it's like little glass pebbles or something i actually ordered green turquoise and blue and only the green have arrived so far Oh gosh, I think I better shut the door, hadn't I? <laughs> the dogs. Only the green ones have arrived today. So I thought, that's okay. We're going to go with the green sea turtle. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to use those. And I'm also going to use these two greens. This one's called green and this one's called dark green. They're by Let's Resin. They are the super chameleon powders. So I'm going to do those today. Oh, I'm so excited. So what I thought I would do... Um, I'm going to save the pebbles for the front fins and the back fins. That's going to have pebbles with clear in it. So we'll put those aside. Uh, and then what I thought I would do is, you know, along the, the bottom of the shell, that's got that base all the way around that bottom there. I thought I would do that in the light green and also dust inside his head with the light green and then do the shell, the main part in this dark green. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I probably should get started with the main section first because if I try and do up here, it's going to fall in, isn't it? Dust's going to fall in. The marker powder, the chameleon powder. I know it says dark green, but it looks quite purple to me. But anyway, here we go. All right, here we go. First brush with the new mold. There we go, look. Okay, I can see green. I can see green. There it is. Oh, gosh. Now, I try not to put too much in because I always tend to put too much in. Now, I want to stop. I want to go up into that other section because that's where I'm going to be changing colour. So I'm going to... Just go up to here. Try to use my excess. I always tend to put too much in and then I have excess flying around everywhere. There's actually a little rim there so I can go up to that little rim I think. There. And look if you go over where you want it to go you can just grab your baby wipe and clean it up. He's got a little tail as well. Oh, I can't see his tail till he's unmolded, but he's got a little tail as well. Actually, I'll put that over there on my right side because I'm right-handed. So dip it in, tap the excess off the brush. You get one of these little brushes with the chameleon powders when you buy the chameleon powders from That's Resin. I will link a couple of their stores down below if you are interested. There's a, a UK Amazon store um, a US Amazon store and then their regular store so I will link all those below and if you want anything from them from those three stores you can use my discount code okay which will help oh look there it is I've done it I've done it all right let's put that one away I am going to just clean up the side a little bit look at the mess I've made look at that look at the mess I've made just going to go in, give it a bit of a blow. You can turn these moulds inside out if you want to, but I'm just going to go in and just clean up my edge there that I've gone over a bit.
like so. Get a piece of clean baby wipe and just follow that around like so. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And then just go around the back there as well. Okay. Easy enough to do. And it makes it so much easier if you don't, uh, you know, put too much powder in because yeah, it just flies around everywhere and then you've got a big mess to clean up if you're wanting to do separate colours, that is. Okay, that will do for now. Okay, so I've just wiped my little brush to get it clean for the next one. Now this is just called green. That might help if I open it first. I always struggle to open these things. I do. Look at they've got tape around the sides, that's why. I just get my knife, my, my scissors and just make a hole in the top and then I can peel all that tape off. It's got a lot of tape around the sides. That's, that's the way I do it anyway. Okay, now here we go. So with the green, I'm going to get in here and I'm going to do in his little face, his little head, little neck everywhere. And I, and I don't have to be too precious about it now because, I, you know, this bit here is also going to be green around here. Look at that colour. Oh. It's just divine. Now I do have to be careful that I don't get it into the flippers because the flippers um, I want to keep clear. But <laughs> I've already got some in there anyway. That doesn't matter. I can wipe it out with my baby wipe. It's not a problem because the dust just wants to go everywhere. Unfortunately. So I'm going to go down the side there. I'll show you. Down the side there and then up the side like in here as well. Okay, easy enough to do. Up the side there. I'll stop there. Because that's a flipper. So you can just bend it and get it where you want it to go. Now I have to make sure that I get into this little tail. See the little tail in there? I want to get in there as well. In the little tail. Oh, well, it's so exciting using a new mould. It's so exciting. And we go up here as well. Underneath the flipper. Now, it doesn't matter if the new green goes over the top of the old green, like from the shell, because the first colour that you put on your mould, so the first colour that touches your mould, is going to be the colour that you're going to be able to see. So it doesn't matter if you go, if I'm spilling some of this new green over the old green, it, it won't matter. You won't see it. You'll only see the the first green. But I'm going to have to go and clean up my flippers because I've, I've sprayed. It just, you know, it just sprays when you're doing this. The powder just sprays everywhere. Oh, look at those colours. <gasps> Certainly going to be a green sea turtle, that's for sure. Go up here. Now this turtle, his head's not, or his neck's not flat on the ground. It's raised a little bit, which is what I was going for. Now I'm going to get in there and get all that in there. I'm going to take my time getting in there, and um, I'll come back to you when um, in a minute once I've mixed up my resin. Okay. Okay, I am all done. I've dusted him, I've cleaned out the flippers just with my baby wipe and he's ready to go for the black. Now black always works better with chameleon powders, uh, it just brings out the colours really well. So I have got some Platinum 360 Plus there and I've popped some black pigment paste in it to make it black. Now with the Platinum 360 Plus, if you've been following me, you know that I love it. Um, 
I use it a lot. It's not a deep pour resin though. So for me to pour this, which is it's quite a deep mold. It's probably about, I don't know, two and a half inches or so deep. I have to measure it. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm gonna have to do it in two layers. So uh, I've just mixed up some, but I may not need it all because I, I can't I can't use it all. What I'm actually what I'll do is I'll go up to um, the top of well I'll do the shell and not that side bit. How's that sound? Now I'm just going to give his little head a bit of a, a squeeze, just gently. You don't want to dislodge all the colour, but just to get the resin to go in it, it hasn't got any little tiny crevices or anything so you don't have to worry too much about resin not going in there i think that's about it i've gone into the tail nope nope haven't gone into the tail yet but i have gone just to the where the shell meets that outer shell okay now what am i gonna do with that i'm gonna have to put some gold in it and do some puffy hearts aren't i all right, so there's a puffy heart mold. I've got my little bit of black that's left. And I tend to use this gold super sparkle with the black. It just works really nicely. So I'm just gonna pop a little bit. You don't need a lot. Start with a little bit because all glitter sinks, it does. Um, but you just want a little hint of of color, a little hint of gold. So not too much. There we go, that'll do. It's gold Super Sparkle by Color Passion. And that's what I tend to do if I've got any black left over because I know that it's going to work nicely. Because it's difficult, you know, adding things to black because it can take over. Like if you put, I don't know, like a pink glitter or something in there, you might, I don't know, you might not even see it. Whereas with this, it's really fine. There we go. And it does sink to the bottom, so you get this gorgeous, shimmery, golden black, and it's really pretty and a pendant. I wonder if I've got enough to do another one. Let's, let's see. Let's push the boundaries and see if we can get third one out, eh? Might just be lucky. And then, of course, these will be giveaways for people that buy a few moulds at a time. Just to say thank you for spending your hard-earned dollars with me, with little old me. Appreciate it so much. Okay, I need, to, I need a little bit more. Oh, a tiny bit more. All right, so that'll make its way around. And look, we're done, we're done, we're done. So now that turtle um, it's going to be ready for the next layer in probably about two hours or so I'm just just thinking now just thinking I've just realized that I probably should have put a little bit more black into it to bring it up to not I might block off the flippers actually you know with my clay I might just block those off a little bit I'll have a think about it because I don't want the black going into the flippers because I want to keep them clear if you were doing all the same like chameleon powders in your flippers it wouldn't you know you just fill the whole thing with black but because I want them clear I don't want the black running into the flippers so um, I might just yeah block them off with with some clay. Anyway, I will see you for the next layer real soon. Okay, so I'll move those out of the way. The turtle is cured. Um, and I just put a little bit of clay in there just to test it. Now, I do the same when I'm doing my my frogs. If you remember seeing me do my, my little froggies, I make a little wall with them as well and this is just a it's just a oh, it's like a slime clay but any clay any clay should work 
I'm hoping it's not going to leak. Oh, look, if it leaks a little bit, it, it won't matter because it's only going to come over the top of this. So it should be, should be fine. It just grabs, it's pretty soft sort of stuff. You can use air dry clay, whatever you want to use. I've just got this and so I use it. I'm just going to like start it there, push it there and then kind of make a little wall. I'm hoping it's not going to leak. I think this one might need a little bit higher. You need to go high, as high as the, the mould so that you can fill that up. It's making something to keep the resin in. But uh, yeah, I think I need to add a little bit more to that one. Just push them in. The resin won't stick to the clay. Well, it hasn't stuck to my clay. <laughs> so I'll be able to just take it away later on. Now this one, I'm just going to make this a little bit higher. Like so. And then I think we're good to go. What do you reckon? Hopefully it won't leak. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh well, if it leaks, it leaks. Might, you know, run underneath a little bit because, you know, resin's a liquid and it likes to, it likes to run. But it won't run very far. You could also wait until your resin was a little bit thicker and then pour it in just so that it doesn't, you know, run too much. So there we go. All right, so that's done. Um, I'm going to mix up some resin. I only need enough just for these four flippers. Um, and then I can put, put my stones in it. Just clean, closing up my bag. Um, and then once that's set, then I can take these away and then fill up the rest with black. So that's the plan. So I think I'll, I think I'll add my little pebbles first. Um, and then just pour some clear over the top. I think that's what I'll do. Just grab a little spoon here. Oh no! <laughs> You're going everywhere. Where'd you go? Where did you go? You're not supposed to go in there. Anybody else gone in there? Oh gosh, it's one in there. Okay. Probably don't need to, you know, fill it totally as long as I've got a nice covering in there. But we'll see. See what happens. These are really pretty little stones. I'll see if I can, well, I'll be able to find it again. I'll just be able to go, have to go to my, my purchased items in Amazon. Um, and then I'll be able to find these and get you the link because they're really sweet and they're rounded like they're not point you know they're not sharp so they should be should be nice I'm not going to need much resin at all am I just to drizzle in between those I just wish my other colors had arrived and I because I wanted to mix the colors I wanted to do the blue and the turquoise and the green I'll, want to mix them all together but that can be for another video it just means I get to do this again I get to play with my turtle again I am gonna fill these up might as well doesn't hold a lot of little pebbles so I might as well just put them all in there We don't want them coming up higher than the surface of the mould though, so it's got to be careful of that. Put a little one in there. Okay, I think that's about it. Make sure that everything's pushed down. All right, beautiful. Oh, this is going to look so good. Twinkling. 
glass beads for decoration. All right, now uh, I'm going to mix up a little bit of resin. Actually, I'll use a little paper cup. I don't need that. I mustn't have pressed record button hard enough because I'd already filled these up and then I looked back and nope, hadn't recorded. So anyway, um, I have got a little bit of the Platinum 360 Plus. Just made up a little bit. I was debating whether or not to leave it to thicken up. But then if it thickens up, then you've got more chance of the bubbles sort of getting stuck inside if it's thick. So just drizzling a little bit on at a time. And then I'm using my little stick here just to kind of push those little pebbles around get the resin to go in underneath them because I don't want like a big air pocket underneath and then you turn it over and there's a big bubble there, you know, a big hole. I was debating whether or not to actually pour the pebbles into, into the, um, the resin. This one's a bit full, but then um, I changed my mind. No, it's just a bit full. You need to take some resin off something this is a really good way to do it like so so anyway I'm just going to continue with moving my little pebbles around and I'm getting any air bubbles out that may be out that may be in there I should say and then once that's done now make sure you fill it up all the way here because we're not coming back with the clear. Once this is set, um, I'm going to take my little bits of clay out and then we just fill it up with black. So easy peasy, all right? So uh, once this is set, hopefully <laughs> cross fingers that my little walls hold. Um, I'll see you then once it's all set up. Okay, I think the little fins are set enough for me to try and get this clay out. I was a bit concerned that when I took the clay out that my mica powders might come with it, if you know what I mean. So, oh, it's a little ball. It's a little bit of clay there that had didn't come out. might have to just touch it up a little bit with my oh that comes out pretty girl so there's a little bit of marker powder on the edge there I might just have to redust the side a little bit it's just a little just a little bit really I don't think it's too bad just a tiny bit it needs redusting. I can just trim that little bit off there. But uh, yeah, this is the same thing I do with um, when I do my frogs. You've seen me do lots of frogs. Hey, I use these little walls as well. Did that get it? I think that's. I think that's got it you guys yep that looks pretty good <laughs> that's pretty cool <laughs> this one leaked a tiny little bit there's a bit there but look, we're going to cover that up anyway so no one's going to see that I'll just take that little bit off that leaked onto the onto its little arm there That's all that's leaked. So I'm going to just redust in the side there. I'm just checking to make sure that oh, there's nothing, no resin on there. No, I think it's all good. All right, we'll throw these away. They've done their their duty. And I'm just going to. 
re-dust the side. It's actually good because the area that's left is is just the the area that I did with this color because the other the other the other colors all covered over now, covered with resin, black resin. So I'll just go over here. It's not much. It's just I've just kind of scratched it a little bit when I've taken the clay out. And we go. I hope this is going to look really pretty. hope so. I'm going to go in there and dust the inside of that little flipper. Not sure if the mica powder sort of sticks to resin. That's his little tail. So the next thing I need to do now is I need to go and mix up a bit there. Clay. I need to mix up some more uh, resin and tint it black. Um, and then, yeah, pour it in and that's pretty much all we need to do. So not much to do. <sighs> Give it a bit of a blow. There we go. Good as new. Alrighty. Um, how much resin will I mix up is the question. Once I've made it and unmolded it, I can weigh it and then I'll know for future reference um, exactly how much resin this little guy takes. But yeah, I don't know at the moment. It's just a just a guesstimate at the moment. Just trimming off this bit of resin. Don't really need to. <laughs> no one's going to see it anyway. It's on the back. All right, I'll be right back. Right, I've got some more Platinum 360 Plus. Probably way more than I need again. Now, I'm just going to pour that in. Now, let me have a little look. Where's your tail? There. Now, um, I'm going to just... Right, I'm going to use one of these just carefully poke probably wait till I've filled it up a bit more poke the resin in there because we don't want an air bubble in the tail do we it doesn't feel as if it's like a tidy little hole so it should be fine and I don't want to you know do it too much in case I dislodge all the mica powder in there but I think it's okay and then with the little head, I'm going to just, I'm going to push down like that. It's not full though, so I'm just going to make sure that we get any air out. But I don't think there is any, I don't see any bubbles coming out. So that's good. Yep, should be fine. Cross fingers, should be fine. Now we just have to bring it up to the top of the mold. Like so. Look at that. <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together. It's working. Yay. So everything's got the black in it then except for those four flippers. Is that a bubble? Oh no, it's just a little bit of mica powder. All right, tiny bit more. Just to push the boundaries. Actually, maybe not. <laughs> if it overflows over onto my flippers, then I'm going to be in trouble, aren't I? Let's not do that. Okay, <laughs> more puppy hearts. Um, but yeah, once he's out and I can weigh him, then I'll know how much to, to use for future reference. Now, do you remember when I did my other turtle? Um, and he was pretty much clear and he had those the sand um, or gravel underneath and I said to you I'm waiting for my other 
gravel to arrive well it has arrived so I'm going to do a very similar thing with this basically pour um I shouldn't be telling you should I we should just wait but anyway I've got the new gravel and I'm going to do that one as well but um that's it for today we'll leave this guy um as is and hopefully he'll be good he's got a nice thick neck thick head should be easy to unmold yay all right I'll, I'll see you tomorrow oh my gosh you guys I am beyond excited about this one okay the time has come it's the next day and the first unmolding of my new turtle okay I usually start at the back when I do mold so I'll do the same although there's a there's a tail in there so I might not be able to get him out until I get the back flippers out maybe oh I got a sneak peek of the side <laughs> okay let's do the actually let's just do the flippers first and then I can take this side down like so get that bit out there it wants to come to there it is okay it's going to take my time the first time with a new mold because you know I'm not sure how things demold. And I don't want to break anything. There's no rush. Pull that bit out as well. Okay. Looking good so far. <laughs> so far. All right. Now, I know I'm going to have to leave the little head for last. So, let's wriggle this tail out. Yep, there he is. There he is. Oh, oh look. I ended up getting a bubble on top. <laughs> uh, even though I pushed it in, I probably didn't. Yeah. Anyway, it's, it's on the bottom. So, that's okay. We can fill that with a little bit of... Um, resin a little bit of uv resin it's not a problem i'll just have to remember to um poke a bit more in there after it's filled because you know i didn't fill it i just sort of poked it and it was only half full but yeah now next time wait till it's full and then poke okay here we go ease a little head out oh look it comes out really easily pop <laughs> there it is there it is there it is oh, okay let's put that back oh all right beautiful Excellent. Oh, that's no, oh, that's just a bit of um, that's just a bit of mica powder there that I've dusted because it didn't have any resin touching it still in there. I can clean that with the baby wipe. All right. Anyway, enough of that. Gee, it's quite heavy actually. I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting the weight of that. All right. Are we ready? Drum roll, please. Da 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 da. Oh my gosh! Look at him, you guys. <gasps> Oh, he's amazing. He's amazing. Love it. I don't know what to look at first. Look at his face. Need to get some um, black pen. Now that line there that you can see, that's where I, <laughs> I filled up my resin up to there. Just under the um, this shell here. So that's why that's there. We've got a little hook over his nose, over his little nose there. I'm just looking at the details. This is the first time I've seen this. First time I've actually seen a, a finished turtle. So I'm just taking it all in. Look at his shell, you guys. Look, it's kind of, it's really textured. It's like bubbly like that. It was so cool. Instead of just being flat, it's got a really nice little face. It's got some detail here. The chin isn't touching the ground, which is nice. It's up a little bit. I need to get a pen. <gasps> and look, there's the little beads, little stones in his feet. What do you think of the colour match? I think I did pretty good, you guys. I think I did. Now, where's my marker? Uh, reach over. Uh, I can't reach. <laughs> okay, no sharpie. I can't get over the weight of it. I'm going to weigh him, see what he's... See what his weight's doing. All right. Um, let's just 
color this in. Now these eyes, I reckon, would fit, you know those um, plastic eyes that I got for my frog a while back and I put them into the resin. Oh, that's a bit big. <laughs> I'll have to go around that with a, with a, some alcohol. It's a bit big. Instead of just doing the top, I went around the edge as well. Um, yeah, you know those fake eyes? <clears throat> Although you might not want to do that. You can just color them in. I'll just do the same thing and then I'll go around with my little brush and clean off the rest. It's because my marker is so thick on the end, you know. I had a more fine one. It would be easier to do, I think. It would. Because I'm going over the base of the eye where I shouldn't be. <laughs> oh my gosh. Actually, that line there is pretty much where his mouth is. <laughs> oh. Oh, look, you guys. Oh, my gosh. All right. I'm going to clean that up for you. Just got one of these little micro brushes dipped it in some alcohol isopropyl. And I can just go around and tidy that up. Or I could just use a smaller nib to begin with. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do that. I won't, I won't fuss with it now because it's easier if I can bring it up to my body and I can see what I'm doing. But basically, that's it. Let's weigh him, shall we? Okay, so we've got grams here. Let's pop him on. Oh, 184 grams. What's that in ounces? 6.5 ounces. That's pretty heavy, isn't it? It's pretty heavy for a, a resin piece. Oh my gosh. I'm put you back onto grams. <laughs> there we go. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm so excited that he's worked. Oh, I love it. Right, I um, fixed up his eyes. There, yeah, that looks better, doesn't it? Fixed them up. I'll take him outside into the sun later so that you can have a look. There's his other eye. That's what he looks like from the side. So we've got nice, nice thick flippers to put things in, shells, flowers. There's his little tail. Back flipper. There's the side. Another front flipper. Little face. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so excited that it's turned out really, really well. I just love him. I love him. Let's go outside. Let's not wait. Let's go outside now. Okay, let's go. Oh my gosh, no, the blinds are down. <laughs> I'm going to have to open the blind before I can let myself out. Hang on. All right. Now the beautiful day. My car's missing. My husband's taken my car to golf. A little bit overcast. So probably can't get you very much sun. But um we can get some natural natural sunlight anyway, hey? What do you think? Even though we haven't got much. I'll walk up here. I can get some grass for the background. <laughs> it's only early, it's like 7 a.m. <laughs> All right, here we go. In the front yard. Where's the turtle? There's the turtle. There he is. Oh, look at him in the natural light. Oh, he's so gorgeous. Shimmery, shimmery. Glad I chose those colours for him. Oh, good morning, birds. Hello. They're seeing me and they go, how come you're not in the backyard feeding us this morning? Why are you in the front yard playing with the turtle? <laughs> the colour shift there. We get that light green. It changes to blue. And then the dark green on his shell at the back, that changes to purple. Oops. And be careful not to drop him. <laughs> 
would have probably preferred the um, yes plovers making a racket. I probably would have preferred the lighter colour in the flippers. Actually it's looking quite dark in the photo but it's, it's really quite light those pebbles. Can't really see them properly can you? Yep anyway there we go. All right well I'm glad I've brought him outside to show you. So I can go inside now and have my coffee because I was so excited I haven't even had my coffee yet. Fed the dogs and that was it. All right thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed my new turtle. He will be available real soon. All right, so be patient. All good things come to those that wait. So there you go. Thank you so much. Uh, I'll see you all real soon for the next video. And I'm definitely going to do this one again. I have lots of ideas. So love you all. Take care. Bye for now.